Does that uh, bring us to against the current? Yeah. I think against the current have dropped their new EP, Fever. Banger. I have like six different bold statements I can make to start this out. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite release of the month by far. It is not okay. close. This is also the first thing to shape up to shake up my top three albums of the year since March. This is better than one of my three favorite albums of this year. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to extend that by saying this is the best EP I have heard since February 2019, when mm -hmm. Grandson and the Score both dropped uh, the Pressure EP and the Modern Tragedy Volume Two EP. This is the best what, EP I have heard in over two years. What period. is the I, one of the songs is written by Bring Me right? Am I? Yep. Am I that is which... Lullaby. Okay. That is one of the songs I love. <laughs> yep. Um, let, let's just start with Lullaby. It's the closing track. When I heard Again and Again last month, I thought that was like a lock for best song on this EP. I was like, there's no way in hell that they can go from Weapon being like, oh yeah, Weapon's going to be my favorite thing on this EP. I didn't have many other expectations. To Again and Again being like a top 10 song of the year. And then they drop Lullaby as the closing track is like I I'm at a point of considering that this EP might have two of my top 10 favorite songs of the year right now. And I'm at a point of thinking, I don't know if anything is going to change that because lullaby is the best closing track I've heard to anything all year. It's not close. Um, again and again is one of the best pop rock songs of the year. It's not close. Uh, that Won't Save Us and Weapon are really fucking good. Jump is really fucking good. Burn It Down is not really fucking good. It's it's just good enough. But on, like, half of the other, like, pop rock things that I have heard this year, Burn It Down would be, like, a top two song on it. And Shatter is similar to what I was mentioning with Take the Name and uh, Scar Tissue, Shatter is a perfect rendition of kind of an acoustic calm break uh, interlude-esque track. I am in love with this EP top to bottom. And I... I There's some other bands that are t releasing EPs for the rest of this year. I don't see a world where anything tops this. I, I don't. I really don't. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that uh, there's one other... When I said I had, like, six different hot takes to start off this discussion, mm -hmm. I, might, I might have saved the biggest one for last here, uh, which I, I had to specifically write this one down because I knew I was going to forget if I didn't say it. Okay. Their drummer, Will, has put up quite possibly the best drum performance on an EP I have ever heard. I don't know if I have ever heard an EP with such memorable drums that are, like, almost as memorable as the vocals. Like... I haven't felt this strongly about drums on an album or an EP probably since I first heard Drop Dead Cynical in 2016. Wow. By Amaranth. Is there anything more I can say to make you all understand how much I fucking love this? <laughs> like... I don't think so. I think you've covered literally every bass plus like three more. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're, like... we're, we're playing seven we're in the outfield in now. <laughs> yeah. all, all, so... all three outfields have a bass now. <laughs> and I've just covered all seven of them with every single song on the CP. I don't... I mean, I can't say yeah, that okay, I... Let, 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 me, let me hit it home one more time, Oh my right? good god, oh my. hit me with it. <laughs> this this EP is a grand slam. There's the baseball oh, uh, tie-in. There we go. There's the baseball tie-in. I had to get I, I don't... I mean, obviously, I don't think it's possible to like this as much as you do. <laughs> yeah. But... This is sitting pretty confidently in my top 10 EPs right now for the year, maybe top five. I'm not... Hmm. How do I... I think that Weapon and Jump are the two weakest songs on this EP oh, for me. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Weapon is like my, my second favorite after a little bit. 
Yeah, I I want to like it more than I do. It's one of those that I'm waiting for that moment to click because I've liked about it jump more or more. Weapon, here? weapon, weapon, okay. weapon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, my favorite song off uh, the EP is Again and Again, uh, partially because it's a really, really good, catchy, replayable song, and also because it's got the Garden feature, Garden being my favorite artist right now. Um, absolutely unexpected feature and one that I really, really enjoy. Um, this is just really, really good pop rock. This is their best project yet i'm gonna say yeah i i when i after i heard this uh ep i went back to some of their older material because i'm like if this is this good surely like there's got to be something from their older stuff that i'll at least like i've gone back to it i've been pretty underwhelmed by just about everything else i've heard from this band but this ep is a grand slam They, they knocked it out of the fucking park yeah this this is just really there's so many memorable moments here and things to love. Um, I you said this is gonna that's it's gonna tie him at the second EP to make an album, right? Yep. There will be a second EP coming. We're pulling in of, of mice and men. Yep. Kind of. Thank God. You know, I. No, when are we getting a new single from them? By True. the way, I, I really Probably thought August. we were gonna. I really thought we were gonna get something this month, but we didn't. I this is like tangential, but I think I might have the lore on this because when I pre-ordered the um, Bloom vinyl. Uh, it said that it was set to ship around October fifteenth. So I'm thinking that, that we get a new. Kills date. We're gonna get another. Um, that's Ice Nine Kills date. Yep. Pro- the album probably drops then. On the, I, I imagine we'll get one more EP uh, August, and then we'll get the album on October fifteenth. Anyway, um, I am very because I've been listening to this band off and on since 2018, and I'm just very excited to finally have like a whole set of songs that I can love rather than just like one or two songs off of an album. You know, I'm just incredibly, incredibly excited for more material from this band. And I think that this is, is more than enough to tide me over until that time comes, you know, I'm so incredibly happy with stuff like that won't save us again. And again, I really like shatter, burn it down, especially lullaby too. Lullaby is a fantastic song. I'm going to bring up the stats sheet real quick and just say that, uh, last.fm, my most played songs for July Lullaby is in first place by more than double of what second place is. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that is how big the gap is. Uh, speaking of Lullaby, uh, let me go back to that for the fourth time, because I haven't talked about one of the best lines I have heard all year with uh, the chorus in Tell Me How You Sleep at Night It Doesn't Seem Fair, How the Hell You Dreaming When the World's a Nightmare. Mm-hmm. One of the best lines I have heard all year. Um, and then uh, the second chorus uh follows up on that with uh take your pretty smile tell them everything's fine um uh something uh break breaking breaking uh breaking my bones to sharpen your knife it's so fucking good i i have not been able to put lullaby down evidently um yeah it's so good and the it's it's just the perfect closing track when it's everything that i want out of a closing track it doesn't feel like anything else on the album. It has very strong closer energy. It has that build and then fall, and then the build and the fall between the verses and the chorus. Just overall, Lullaby is fantastic. I can't believe that they actually managed to top again and again. Like, it, it feels like I've gotten into a pattern lately where generally, if a band releases a single that I have a feeling is going to be, like, one of my favorite songs of the year, or if it is, like, if a single is significantly better than the rest of the singles, I expect it to be my favorite song from a release. And when something else comes and actually tops it, in the case of this song where Lullaby tops again and again, the only other example I can even think of is Amaranth with Boom maybe topping Archangel um, as a single. I I was blown away. There's no other way to put it. Uh... I think the last point that I want to make on this EP, because I have been dragging this on for a while, is that in Jump, which um, of the non-singles has been my second favorite, uh, I go Willow by Jump, then uh, Shatter, then Burn It Down is probably my least favorite song on the EP. Um, I really liked the way that they turned Jump into the deep end and like spun it in a positive light. Because I feel like when you say Jump into the deep end, that kind of... That, that feels like it has, like, a connotation to, like, depression and, like, you're kind of down in the dumps. 
uh, when you're when you're at the deep end, when you're at your lowest point. But they um, they turn jump into the deep end into like jump into the deep end to like put yourself out there into a situation you aren't expecting. Jump into the deep end. What are you waiting for? Is the exact line. And that feels just very optimistic. And I feel like that was just a very creative way to use that lyric that I really appreciated and has made me enjoy that song a lot more. I'm not even going to try and conclude everything that I said on this EP. You're going to have to, if you want to, if you want a conclusion, just go back to when we started discussing this, man. I've said enough. I've Jake said enough. likes the EP. I couldn't tell. True. True. That's a good way to conclude it, actually.